Okay. I have to sneeze again. I opened my window and forgot that my allergies suck in the spring. Hey everyone, my name's Koa if you're new here and welcome to my plant channel. So before I begin, I just want to let you all know I'm trying something different with the camera lens I'm using with the angles with the background so let me know what you think down below in the comments i would really appreciate your your um thoughts about it so today i'm actually going to walk you all through the process of setting up my ikea greenhouse i think it's pronounced fab but i'm not going i'm going to put it on the screen somewhere what it's actually what the name of it is but i didn't get the tall the tall one or the other ones that are um that are very well known but I got one of the smaller ones and um, the shorter ones and it actually fits perfectly in my room um, I'll put on the screen the one that I originally wanted over here and that one would have been way too wide for my space so again if you're not familiar with the layout of my room uh, please go watch my room layout my room tour I actually walked you all through um, um, the layout of my room and the plants I have in there so you can kind of get a feel of where I actually place this IKEA greenhouse when I put some b-roll of everything. Just to let you know, I guess. Um, the film or the video that you'll be seeing was actually filmed maybe three months ago. So it's been a, a few months. Um, so a lot has changed in my greenhouse. Um, but the overall greenhouse itself is the same. I just have different plants. I rotate in and out. And right now it's actually filled with propagations that I plan to release or sell very soon. But yeah, so before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the share button, hit the bell notification, just so that you can be updated on when I actually release videos because I'm trying to release them weekly. So let's get into it. So I have my phone here for um, notes because I actually took a lot of notes. I edited the video already, so I just want to talk about what you're going to be seeing in the video. The IKEA greenhouse that I actually have is called the Fabricor glass door cabinet. So it's 31 by 44 and that's the one that I bought. I actually purchased the yellow option. They have a black blue option as well as the yellow option. My intentions were to actually spray paint it white. So the greenhouse took me approximately two to three days to put together. Only because the first day and a half was just spray painting it. Um, it came with a lot of pieces like you have to make sure that First what I did, I actually taped off all the glass so that I wasn't spraying any spray paint onto the glass. I'm looking over there because my greenhouse is there, so I'm just trying to get um, an idea of really what I did. So I spray painted over the hinges, the silver accessories, like the, almost the silver bolts and everything in it. I made sure I taped everything off. This way I wasn't putting paint on it at all. I didn't want it to ruin anything. I wanted it to look like it actually was manufactured to be a white greenhouse. Um, but I don't know why they don't have that as an option. It honestly should be an option. Ikea, please work on that. But yeah, so I actually took all the pieces in my garage. Sadly, I didn't film it or I don't have any pictures of that. But I put everything in my garage and spray painted it like late at night, Saturday night. Saturday and Sunday was the only two days I had. So I really put a lot of time into doing that. But um, yeah, I used two cans of spray paint. And I'll try, I'll try to find this spray paint that I actually use. I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. Um, but I wish I had known that I needed a top coat spray paint for it. Just to be safe, just to be on the safe side, I really would have preferred to have a top coat on it. But it's been three months, like I said, there's no rusting on it. There's no evidence of the paint wearing away. So it's fine so far. I'm just being cognizant of that. In terms of assembly, make sure you have someone there to help you put it together. Thankfully, I had my sister Tamika. She honestly complained the whole time, but I still appreciate her helping me out with it. So, as you can see in the footage, I actually we actually put it together downstairs in our living room. Um, it was on carpet, which made me feel better because there's, there's glass involved, you know. And if you were to break a piece of glass, I doubt you can just purchase a replacement sheet of glass. I doubt that works for IKEA. So. We were very careful with it, we put it together. Also these like the metal frames and the metal pieces, they aren't that light. Um, yeah, I just would, I'll, I would be careful. If you're gonna put it together yourself, 
just be very careful. Try to get someone else to help you. So after we assembled it downstairs, we actually brought it back up. Well, I brought it upstairs. I'm glad that we actually started assembling it downstairs and actually continued assemb assembling it in my room. Um, Tamika helped me assemble. She also helped me record a lot of it. But in putting everything together, it was going well until we actually came into the part where you insert the glass sheets into the metal frame. So they're open like this. You put the glass sheet in it like this and close it so that it, the glass sheet is um, secure on both ends of the glass. I hope that makes sense, but you can kind of see during the video what I'm talking about. And we ran into the issue when it came to the glass sheets on the left and right side of the greenhouse. Hopefully you can hear me. But normally, um, these little latches are folded outward. Let me show you on this side. Do we screw something up? It's folded outward. I don't think so. So you can easily, like, you know, um, like, kind of bend this metal back to hold in the glass piece. So we did that for the two back pieces. And here, on the right piece, it's already folded back. It's not open like this. So I may have to grab a knife. Oh, let me see. This is showing you here just to put in the side pieces, right? See, you're trying to, it's like this, then you would fold it over the glass. But it's not giving me, this over here isn't opened to even do so. So I was like, okay, like this sucks. They must have made a mistake with Ikea. What the heck? Like, what's going on? And I was like, you know what? Fine, we'll just open it up. I grabbed a knife and just open up all the latches because they're supposed to be open in my head, right? Um, I opened it all up. I put the fit the glass in it, closed them back up, and they were good, you know? And then when it came time to actually putting the doors in, I was like, wait, something's not right. The, hint, the door hinges were faced the wrong way. Here's the situation. This is why it wasn't working before because I have it on backwards. This part here, it's supposed to be in the front. So these two legs have to be switched around. That's why this flap wasn't open because it wasn't supposed to be opened. Uh, I now realize that <laughs> what the problem was. <laughs> so the, the door hinges are supposed to be, it has a metal frame, a metal two metal legs in the front. So these are two metal legs, this, and this is where the doors would be at. The hinges, instead of them facing the direction of the door, it was facing outward. So there's no way to actually put the door on there. Then I realized, oh shoot, I put the two metal legs in the front in the opposite way. So if I flipped it, the hinges would actually be facing inward towards the door the way it's supposed to be faced. I hope this is making sense. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much put it together wrong. So I had to open up all those latches on the left and right side um, and the back because the sheet of glass is actually closed on both ends. Take that, take both of the glass out, switch out the metal legs, I actually have to detach it from the top too and from the base of the greenhouse. That definitely took a lot more work, honestly. Um, so I would advise you just to double check the pictures and make sure everything's lining up. I've put together IKEA furniture before and I was just like so sure that, you know, I got this, I've done this before, but no. Like read the instructions, look at the pictures. I think that's why they include pictures over words because um, it's kind of like a better representation of really what's going on. Once that was all fixed, we were good to go. It was coming together. It looked really good. Okay, update number, I don't know. But now that we fixed our problem, we switched around these thingies. So now they're facing the correct way on both ends. And this is what we have. We just put the doors on. It's actually pretty easy to put the doors on, but this part is annoying to kind of line it up and then boom, close it like that. So, so far it's looking good. Hopefully you can see them and show you the whole thing. So the last part really was putting in the shelves. You can see, right? Y'all can see, you let me know. Y'all let me know. I'm gonna fight my cameraman. No, I'm a woman. Oh, camera woman. <laughs> okay, let's start. So it comes with these little brackets. You would put them in the little um, those little holes that's on each leg of the greenhouse. You'll see it in the, in the video. On the inside of each greenhouse, it's like a little hole. And I kind of, popped in my filled engine billetier as well as my filled engine painted lady just so that I can get a sense of how high I want that bottom shelf to be because they have these moss um, poles in them just keeping them up a little bit or staking them up 
So I used that as kind of like the height, um, the height that I wanted to put each shelf in or each shelf should be at. After doing that, I put that in, boom, it was done. So put the top on top of it before you put it over there. The what? Put the pads oh. on top. Taking so long. Are you serious? Sorry. I Mika mean, has zero to no patience. Hmm. It's just surprising. We've been doing this for a long time. No. Chicago. It's boring. Oh. I don't think it's boring. I'm bored. And the chicken's just sitting there. Cause you know, we're not playing Among Us or anything. No. Like honestly, it didn't take that much time putting it together, assembling it at all. Even with the mistake, it could have taken a lot less time if I didn't make the mistake. But even with the mistake, it probably took like a few hours. Um, it wasn't that bad. Um, what honestly took the most time was spray painting each of the metal pieces in the greenhouse. That took the most time. I put in this humidifier here. It's from that brand, H2O humidifier. I watched from Planterior Decorator. She had actually spoken about using her water fountain instead of a humidifier. It is actually a few days later. I have my humidifier in here. This is not going to be a forever thing. I really do would I really would prefer the uh, water fountain method that plants. What's the name? Plant Interior. Plant interior. I'll put her name on the screen. She talked about it and explained the science behind it and the humidity here will just, or this machine here, I've noticed I've left it on overnight at a time and I woke up, all my plants are just like soaking wet and I don't wanna have like water like that in this um, greenhouse. So I know with the water fountain, it wouldn't do that. I can leave it on running and it won't have actual like water like that everywhere. So I'm definitely gonna get a water fountain in use this for my um, Marantas. When it actually came time to put a humidifier in there, I was like, I don't have a water fountain, I'm just gonna use the humidifier that I already have. So I plugged that in, had that running the night. I actually purchased a fan beforehand, so I had the fan running on the middle shelf. And I used or borrowed one of my brother's, um, those floodlights from his uh, fish tank. Um, I also have a one of those meters, Right now it's reading 71 degrees and 55% um, percent humidity. That's actually low. Normally it reads 60, um, but because I have it open right now, it's saying 55. I also have this little fan here and I would honestly prefer to have one up here, one down here. At the time, I only had a few plants in there. I actually have a list, hold on, let me try to find it. Yeah, so I pretty much had my Philodendron Belletier, like I said, I had my Philodendron Painted Lady, I had my Imperial Red Philodendron Cutting, I had a few Skindapsis Moonlights in there, I had um, some Pearls pearls and Jade Pothos Cuttings, I had Jacina Cuttings in there, I had some Manjula, I had a few Hoyas apparently, and then I also had my Burl Marks, my Philodendron Burl Marks in Lekka. I think I had that set up for maybe um, a few days and then my actual lights came in. I just received the lights in the mail and I'm putting them up. So this is kind of what's going on right now. I have it connected to a metal clip. Can you see that? Connected to a metal clip. I have it zip tied to these little, this metal part here. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. That's one side. And that is the other side. So it's pretty secure there. I'm not using tape because I don't want it to um, fall. So I'll put in the description box the actual greenhouse lights that I use, but the light is more like a warmer light, but it's not an annoying yellow orange light. So it's like a peachy light, it's warm light, and I think it works really well. Um, they do have cooler, cool light options on Amazon. Obviously, Amazon has everything, but they have the cool light options as well. But I went with this one. The pack that I bought, the pack of girl lights that I bought, actually came with six of them. And they have that cord, the kind of that you can link one light to the next and only use one plug-in to actually, you know, um, make everything work, which is really cool. So I actually have only two in there on top, and I do need one more at the bottom because, um, Right now my greenhouse is very full. Sadly, the philodendrons on the bottom 
aren't getting as much light as I would like them to get. So I'm going to be adding another light in there very soon. But for now, it is what it is right now with the setup. I think that's it, guys. Like, honestly, I think the video should show you what I'm talking about. Um, just give you better, like, a visual representation of what I'm really speaking about, especially when it comes to the assembly. I hope anyone who is looking to actually put theirs together can hopefully learn from my mistakes. I think it was just like something I just did. I don't haven't really heard of anyone else making such a weird mistake. <laughs> my nose is so stuffy. I opened my window for like three minutes and now I'm dying. Oh, gosh. Like I said before, my greenhouse, I did film that video three months ago and a lot has changed from then to now. Um, right now my greenhouse, like I said, is filled to the brim, um, but it's a lot of propagations that I have in there, which I will be selling very soon. So keep, keep an eye out for that. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do at Tacoa Crystal, I'll put it on the screen here. And I will be um, letting everyone know when I'm actually launching my site to actually sell those cuttings, which is kind of exciting. It's kind of like a test run, so we'll see how it goes. Right now it's filled to the brim. I still only have the one fan. I need to purchase, I'm thinking one more. Right now I have the one fan in the middle shelf, but I think I want one more for the bottom because that's where my most precious plants are. Is that wrong? That is wrong. That's where my philodendrons are at, I should say. So, I have my Belletier down there, Painted Lady, and I have a Plamanii down there. Um, so I just wanna have some air circulation down there too as well. But hopefully I can actually film that before the launch so that you guys can see what I have in there and what I will be putting on for sale in there. But yeah. I think that's it anyway i think that is it for this video thank you all for watching i hope this did help you um and hopefully it kind of inspired you to pick up an ikea greenhouse i mean the whole point of the greenhouse is just to keep the humidity in one area so instead of me having six or seven humidifiers in my room i would just put the plants that need a little bit more humidity i'll just pop them in the greenhouse and they'll live happily in there um at first I was really against greenhouses only because I like to um, have my plants on display. Like I like to touch the leaves here and there. I like to look at it, check it constantly. Um, and it being in a greenhouse is kind of like one more barrier <laughs> in the way of me actually interacting with the plant, I guess. But I know that they're way happier in there than out here. Yeah, I think if you have certain plants, um, certain, um, I know anthuriums for sure, ooh, they need humidity. Um, Hoyas don't really need it, but they, I have my Hoyas in there and they're pretty happy in there. So yeah, again, I hope this video is helpful to you all, to somebody. Let me know what you think about this whole different frame um, and the setup behind me. I have my string of pearls here with me. It's actually pretty high up. I don't know if I can bring it down. Hold on, let me see. I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. That's kind of what she looks like right now. but. And I have my Gloriosa, my troublesome Gloriosome, which I'll probably do a video on later. I don't know. It's troublesome. It's stressing me out. But you know what? I enjoy the challenge. Once more, thank you all for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. Thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever you prefer. But um, let me know maybe um, what you think about the setup. And also let me know if you have an Ikea greenhouse or maybe you want to sit your saving towards getting one. Because it is a, a big purchase if you think about it. But to me, it was a big purchase at the time. But it was very worth it. Like, I don't regret it at all. Like, I'm looking into getting another one because it's that amazing. Share it to your friends that are plant friends. Your plant friends. Or you can share it to just your family, your friends, you know. Just, um, I really would appreciate you all supporting my channel. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that YouTube can actually let you know when I upload another video. I will be very soon. I am still doing the Koa's Plant Care series, so that should be coming out every week as well. But here and there, I'll pop in some another video just so that you have something different to watch, you know. Hopefully you're enjoying the content so far. And um, yeah, 